There's been a lot of debate over animal-based protein versus plant-based proteins. But the thing that people fail to realize is that there are high-quality plant-based proteins that have similar anabolic capacity to animal-based proteins. They generally tend to be inferior to animal-based proteins for stimulating muscle protein synthesis. But there are certain plant or non-animal proteins, at least, that are on par with animal proteins for stimulating an anabolic response or muscle protein synthesis. And so I recently did a systematic review with a bunch of colleagues on soy protein. And soy protein happens to be a high quality protein that supports training adaptations to a similar degree that animal proteins do. Slightly inferior, yes, in certain cases, but perhaps good enough for the general population. Soy protein can be a double-edged sword if you have an over-reliance on it to meet all of your protein needs. But there are other plant proteins like pea protein that have actually shown similar anabolic effects to whey protein, even over longitudinal periods where you don't just measure muscle protein synthesis, but you measure changes in like muscle thickness, for example, and pea protein had a similar effect to whey protein. And so with a few examples like this and a couple of recent studies comparing an omnivore group with a fully vegan group, but the same protein, it takes 1.6 grams per kilogram of body weight there were no significant differences between the omnivore group and the vegan group for gains in muscle size and strength over several weeks. 